try. Mm -hmm. Hello, friends! Okay. <laughs> Lay down this bed head. We're gonna do my hair after my makeup, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so quick share. And then just share, because that goes to Ray Coleman. Mm -hmm. And then share again. And then you do the drop down for newsfeed. Yeah. And then you click beauty. Beauty barrier, yeah. Uh huh. And then share. I do it one more time. So share. And then newsfeed. And then group. And then beauty. beauty. Right yep. And share. <gasps> and you did it. <clears throat> nice. Hi, friends. How are you guys? All right, now that we've shared, I hope you guys will do the same. Just click that bottom left-hand corner. And I'm going to post my shopping link right here, rayahopebeauty.com, where you can see everything I'm using except for the spray foundation. This launches um, on the 1st. So I've been using it since I've been away. Wait till you guys see the photos for um, Unique. That's why I was up there doing photos for November. Um, I can't tell you pretty much anything, unfortunately, but I can tell you that in all of the photos, I'm wearing this because it was so good. I got to pick which foundation I got to wear during the photos and the first day we used a liquid and then the next day I was like, I wanna try this spray. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I was under the assumption that the spray foundation was gonna only be good for if you had dry skin or like mature skin. But are those corked? I almost got those yesterday, what? Oh, my earrings, these are from 1110 Leather. Yeah, and you guys can use my code RayaC10 to save on her website. But I'll give you guys full outfit details over on my Instagram. I'm actually going to hop over there next. After I get off here, I'm going to do my makeup, and then we're going to get off, and then I'm going to pop back on and do my hair. And then I'm going to hop off, and then I'm going to go over to Instagram, and we're going to do like a fat try-on of some things that I've gotten recently that are really, really, really cute. And typically, I don't do try-ons like when I go shopping, but I just had to share because there's like some awesome deals right now on some of the things, so... Yeah, oh, sharing is caring. Yeah, the spray foundation's so good. So anyway, um, like I was saying, I was under the assumption that I wouldn't really be able to use it, and maybe I would be able to use it, but I wouldn't love it, uh, just because I have like oily skin, so anything that's like not made for oily skin seems to kind of be runny or like not stick on my face really well. Um, so I tried this and I was blown away. Like, if I could exaggerate that anymore, I would. Like, I was literally like, oh my gosh. So, not only is this super thin, like, coverage-wise, like, lightweight, I mean, but it's, like, full coverage. I am, like, breaking out like no other because I've been wearing, like, wiping makeup off, putting makeup on, like, for five days. So, my skin is like, bah! So, that's why I didn't go live yesterday. I'm like, my skin needs a break. I need a break. But we're back, and I'm excited. Yes, so Mimi, this is gonna be amazing if you have mature skin, fine lines and wrinkles, dry skin, oily skin, normal skin. This is literally made for all skin types and it's so good. If you have puffy under eyes, you're gonna love this. So the first time that I used it, I it was in the morning and I had like woken up and my under eyes were really like puffy just from not sleeping well and staying up really late. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna try this because I'm gonna wash my face right now anyway. And I did half of my face and it was like so like tightening on my under eye. I was like, oh my gosh, the, my customers who have puffy under eyes are gonna be obsessed. It's so good. All right, so um, enough teasing you. I'm just gonna show you already. Yeah, it feels so, so light on your skin. Doesn't feel like anything. Um, so which is, that's really cool. And then, like I said, it's so like, it's like tightening is like not the word I want to use because most people would think that like feels uncomfortable, but it feels tightening in the best way possible. <laughs> I'll just say that. Okay, so two ways to apply it. There's actually a lot of ways to apply it. And when I was at corporate, I was talking with a lot of people that have been using it, just seeing what they preferred. So a lot of people like to use this, the Kabuki brush. So if this is not in stock, it will be on the first and I've been assured that it's not going to sell out. So definitely snag this if you haven't done so already. So this is the Kabuki brush. It's really dense, it's really flat. So I've heard this is like most people's favorite way to apply it but I kind of liked applying it with my blending bud. So we're gonna kind of play around with it and it might take me like a few days, maybe even a few weeks to figure out like what technique I like the best. A lot of people also were using, where are my brushes? <laughs> I didn't even get my brushes out. A lot of people are liking using the, um, 
the uh, powder concealer brush for applying it. So my makeup artist was using this side to actually apply it on me, which helped like apply it very thinly. So sky's the limit. You just got to figure it out. All right. So let's situate ourselves over here and then we'll get started. I'm going to close the door because they're distracting me. Hold on. Ryan's out there with him, don't worry. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yay, I know, I'm so happy to be home. So whatever shade you are in the liquid touch, you're gonna be in this, it's the same exact. And so you're gonna wanna shake it up. It has that little ball in there, which is kind of fun. So I'm gonna show you two ways. So we're gonna take it on the Kabuki brush first. I have a plate here because when I was spraying it, I like am not used to it yet, so I was like going hog wild. And I don't wanna, oh. I don't wanna spray it on my table, but that actually didn't like get anything on that plate. So that's reassuring. All right, so we're gonna do this side first because I had that like angry blemish. So this is one way to apply it and you're just simply going to just smudge it pretty much. I'm kind of like pushing, pushing it on. What about if you have the BB cream? Uh, message me if you're not sure what color you are in the liquid just message me and I can tell you you guys see this coverage though is this not amazing and it's so light so lightweight it feels so good on your skin and it's kind of like because it's an aerosol can it kind of feels like it's cool like it's really like I don't know I don't know how to describe it not like menthol -y, but like like it's cooling when you first put it on. All right, so that's one way to apply it. The other way to apply it is taking your blending bud and you're just gonna take it and you're just gonna spray. And now you can tap. So doing it both ways, I think I like this way better. I think I like spraying it on my Kabuki brush and then maybe going over it with the blending bud. Like I said, this is only the first time that I've like used it for like application. I kind of played around with it. You could do circular motions like with makeup. There is really no rule with makeup. Like you can ask people how they prefer it. You can like read the directions, but honestly, like it might be different for every single person. When I do circular motions, I feel like I wipe off product that I'm putting on. I'm using the shade Lace. Sorry, I didn't say that. Yeah, Kabuki brush and we're just like misting it like that. And then going right in. And you guys, it's so like cooling. It's really cool. And then it dries into a powder finish. So what's really, really cool about this is if you have dry skin, you don't need to set it. Usually almost all foundations, I would be like set it no matter what. So it doesn't transfer, so it doesn't smudge. This foundation is really, really smudge proof. So you don't necessarily even have to set it. All right, so now that I've kind of put it on all over. I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blending bud and just mist it on there a little bit. And now I'm just gonna kind of go over everywhere with my blending bud, just to make everything look super smooth and really flawless. Exactly, whatever works for your skin, exactly. So I was kind of worried, I'm being 100% transparent, transparent, I was kind of worried about the whole aerosol thing, like spraying all over and being really messy, but um, I think if you like go really close, just like that, it kind of takes away that, the like excess of getting everywhere. And having a plate just like down like that, if you get ready like I do and not like at a makeup area, that kind of helps too. All right, so we're just blending this in all over, but are you guys impressed? <laughs> like, look at this coverage. This is so good, you guys. And it's so, so lightweight. And it might actually be the shade Taffeta. The lace looks a teeny tiny bit light for me, but we'll see how it looks after I'm done with my concealer and my pressed powder and stuff. Because I always tell you guys, you could be more than one color of something. You might be, um, you might be lace in the foundation, but you might be another color in the concealer and the pressed powder. So we're gonna see how it looks after, but you guys, the feeling right now, I wish you guys were like in my skin. It feels almost like it's tightening. Like my skin feels like it's being like, 
I don't know. It's like, it's so good. It feels so good on your skin. And look at how flawless that is. Doesn't look cakey, doesn't look heavy. And it's not creasing, isn't that crazy? Yes, this coverage is so, it's like gold. Solid gold. All right, so we're gonna use our concealer now, just a little bit. And I'm using a Skin Perfecting Concealer and we're gonna use the shade Velour. And I'm just gonna pop this on my fingers and then go right underneath my eye just to add a little more coverage like I always do. I'm also gonna take a little bit on my blemish. Over here, a little bit up here. And then when I do my concealer, I always go like a V shape like this, like underneath the eye. And then we're gonna take the blending bun. We're just gonna blend that in. But I'm really, really impressed with this coverage. So like I said, if you're new around here, like, okay, yep, need that. So the spray foundation launches on October 1st at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it is expected to sell out. <laughs> I was talking to people at corporate and I was like, is it gonna sell out? And they're like, uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm like, ah. So do not wait, set those alarms. And I know some people do pre-orders with the uh, like new products, but this is why I don't like pre-orders. And this is like looking out for you guys. It takes five to seven business days to get to me. Then it takes five to seven business days to get to you. So essentially you'd have to wait an additional whole week to get it. So instead of doing that, if you just grabbed it yourself, then like you would get it a whole lot faster. So I would just set your alarm. I know it's kind of annoying, but set your alarm for 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on October 1st so you can get it. And you'll have to wait in line, most likely, unless you get like, if you're like waiting in line before that. So it's like a virtual line. So you can either like wait, which is what I usually do. I'll usually just like leave it on my phone and leave it open. Or you can like set up an email to where they email you when it's your turn. Um, so your choice, but just prepare yourself for that. I don't want you, anybody to be like surprised, but I want you guys to get it. So definitely October 1st, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Yeah, I think I might be a darker shade, but we'll see how it looks after I set my makeup because sometimes you can use like a lighter shade of foundation and once you're done, it looks like it's like perfect. So don't judge it until you're done. Yes, firmer. That's a perfect word I want to use, Tracy. Thank you. It makes your skin feel so firm. Thank you. I've been saying tight this whole time. Like that's not the word I want to use. Try to think. All right, sorry. I didn't even like tell you what I'm I'm like so excited that I'm like, just going on by. All right, so what I just did is I took my Touch Bowl Translucent Setting Powder and I used like a flat brush or blending bun. This one's dry. So I pop the cap off mine. So I just like tap it in and tap it on. And this technique is called baking. So what it is, is it's essentially just like allowing um, the translucent setting powder to draw out any natural oils in your skin. So instead of it pushing against your foundation, it absorbs into the setting powder. It's so good. Did you use the primer first? Yes, so I have heard mixed things. I've heard some people say that they like the spray foundation with no primer, um, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do my normal routine and we'll see how we see how my skin likes it. So I did my total normal routine, which is my Glorious Face Primer and my setting spray. Yes, Anna, I hope everyone read Anna's comment because I can't like, you know, but definitely check out the kudos in October, okay? <laughs> Which is gonna be under rayahopebeauty.com and it's gonna be under kudos. And the kudos is always discounted and it's always a really good deal. So make sure you check out the kudos for October, okay? Okay, so that's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, so pre-makeup routine. What I do before I put on my makeup is I use my Touch Bold Setting Spray, my Glorious Face Primer. So I spray, I apply this when it's dry, and then I'll let this sit for like three to five minutes, and then I'll spray again. And then we're ready for our foundation. So that's what I did, and then we did the setting spray, or we did the spray foundation, then we did our concealer, and then now I just took my Touch Bold Setting Powder, and you guys, if I was using a darker shade of the spray, I think that it, I. I think that would be fine. I think I can move on to contouring. But I am gonna use my pressed powders. One, because I have oily skin. Two, it makes your skin look so freaking flawless. So we are gonna do our normal routine. Setting spray dries out your skin. So what you could use, Leslie, I hope 
my screen is cracked so I can never see the names. Um, you'll wanna use the rose water in its place. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Touch Bold setting. Ugh, no, it's not. It's the Touch Mineral Pressed Powder in the shade Scarlet. And we're using the dry blending bud for this. And we're just gonna be pushing this underneath our eye in that same concealer shape. And why we do this, so if you have, thank you so much. If you have um, mature skin or fine lines or you have like a lot of under eye lines and you struggle with them like looking more exaggerated when you're using a setting powder, try switching it up and doing this step because it's gonna do the same exact thing except this is made for your skin. It's made to make your skin not look um, more like exaggerating your fine lines and wrinkles. So this is gonna stop the concealer from moving, but it's still gonna brighten and tighten your under eye. So mineral touch press powder, and you'll just use like one shade lighter if you're wanting to highlight. If not, then you can use your same shade. So you do the exact same thing on there. Yes, Mimi, so if that is your issue, or if you struggle with that, then take the mineral touch press powder and push that underneath just like that. Yeah, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see your guys' before and afters. I want to see them. So when you do get this, send me your before and after pictures. Could be seeing I use a setting powder with the brush and just lightly cover. Yes, perfect. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It feels so good to be home. All right, so now we're going to use the Mineral Touch pressed powder again, but this is in my shade, which is the shade Scarlet. Or Scarlet. This is in the shade Satin, sorry. And we're going to use this all over, and this is going to even out our skin tone. So it's gonna bring that color back to our skin and it's also going to make our foundation look so incredibly flawless. You guys can already see that. Look at how stinking flawless this is. And I love that my under eye still looks really bright from using the shade Scarlet underneath. Always blend it down. But do you see how it's like totally making it even now? You know how my foundation looked like it was a little too light, but now it looks like it's a perfect match. Yes, the spray foundation is full coverage. Super full coverage, but really, really lightweight. And it's like smudge resistant. So if you have trouble with your makeup like coming off on things, no matter what you're using to set it, this guy right here. So they actually did this cool video. I need to find it to show you guys because it's really rad. They sprayed this on a balloon and then they used another foundation, I don't know which one it was, and they put that next to it, and they wiped it like this, and this did not even move. Did not even move. It was a really cool, like, test of it. But I put it on at the hotel, and I wasn't sure how the aerosol would work, so I sprayed it in the sink, and I was like, oh, okay, like, I get the speed that it's coming out. So then I used it, and then, like, I was like, oh my god, so I started taking my, like, pictures, and I went to like wipe it off in the sink. It would not come off. I eventually had to get a shine cloth to get it off the sink. But I was like, dang, I was using water, like running water and like scrubbing and it wasn't coming off. And I was like, oh my gosh, one, I feel like the worst hotel guest ever. Two, I was like, dang, <laughs> it's smudge proof. Yay, Missy, I'm so glad. Um, so BB Flawless is gonna be more hydrating. This one isn't gonna be more, this isn't gonna be hydrating, but it's gonna be such lightweight that it's not gonna like dry you out. So it's firming, but not drying. So I hope that it kind of explains it, but you can always message me and I can give you a recommendation. All right, so I was gonna show you that before and after of how, um, how much fuller coverage this is, but I'm sure you can kind of see it already that I'm going at it how much it like brings up your color back to your skin and it makes everything match. So if your foundation is ever looking too light with the seasons changing, just go up one shade in your pressed powder or vice versa. As it gets warmer throughout the year, just go up or down in your pressed powder and you can use the same shade of foundation. So glad you're back. Oh, I know, I'm so excited. Yes, the October kudos is gonna be lit. <laughs> It's gonna be so good. So I just realized I was on my daughter's white pillow. I freaked absolutely no transfer. Yes, I love it. I love that. Yeah, so if you have trouble with it transferring any kind of foundation, you're gonna be obsessed. And what's cool too is you don't even necessarily have to set it. So like I was telling my girlfriend who has dry skin, who's also a presenter, I was like, you're not gonna even need to set it. Like I have oily skin, so I'm like, I'm gonna set it and see what happens. But if you have dry skin, that's all you need. All you're gonna need. It's just so rad. I'm so excited. I really love when we like 
make a good product. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying we make bad ones, but there's some that I'm like, eh, they're all right. it's all right. This, I was like, dang, Unique, you killed it. <laughs> so do you need the wipes to get it off? So I would probably, um, I always use the wipes anyway, but I'm gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna say you're gonna need the, sh the cleansing cloths. They're only 20 bucks and you get 36 wipes and you can even cut them in half because they take off everything. But I would grab them, yeah, if you don't already have them. All right, so now we're gonna contour. So I'm using my beachfront bronzer in the shade Hermosa, as always. And we're gonna start at the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth and just kind of wish this back and forth. And then I turn it vertically and just kind of um, smooth it out. And then same thing over here, top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. So if you don't have any of the products that I've been using, that are gonna help with the setting spray, I would grab them as soon as possible. So at least you get those before you get your spray foundation. That way, when you're online to get your spray foundation, this is the only thing you have to add to your cart so you can get in, get out before you like it sells out. So that's what I would personally do if I was in anyone's shoes. Like I plan on grabbing like other colors of this on that day, but I would make sure that you have whatever else you need already in your possession or on the way to you. I use the Kabuki brush and then I also use the blending buds. So I use both to apply it. I got the organs that's too light. I think I'm more taffeta. What do you think taff? So taffeta is gonna be like three shades darker than organza. So Anna just messaged me a selfie and I can let you know your recommendation. And that goes for all of you. If you haven't been color matched by me yet, definitely shoot me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation so you know what all to grab. The spray foundation, I think, is going to be 42, I think. I vaguely remember <laughs> what, what it was, but I know it's a little bit more because you get more. It's going to last you longer. I use eyelet in the summer and tool in the winter. Should I get another shade? Um, I would probably get lace for you, Diana. That way you have, like, the medium, but there's no limit. Like, you can get as many as you can. Um, on the first so I would grab like your summer shade your winter shade because I only say this because when our liquid touch launched a, a lot of the popular shades got back ordered by like months so if you are like yes I love that coverage like for me I'm gonna grab two laces and two eyelets and maybe like one organza on the first because those are all my colors so I'm like prepping for it I'm just getting it getting my stock ready just in case it does sell out for like longer than a few months. So that's my plan. So I hope that like helps you kind of decide what your plan is. Um, so yeah, safe than sorry. Yes, the blending buds are always damp. When I use them for concealer and uh, foundation, I always use them damp. And these ones are by Unique, by the way. These are 17 bucks and you get, to, you get both, the large and the small. And they apply so smoothly so again if you have like fine lines or wrinkles I highly recommend to grab the blending buds because they make your makeup look so smooth so right now I'm using my pressed blush in the shade supple which is like my favorite for every single day it has this really gorgeous kind of light sheen to it but it's so so pretty it's just like a good peachy blush so if you are not a huge blush girl like me. Definitely grab that one. And then if you ever go hog wild, like I went a little heavy on that side, I'll just take my powder brush and we'll just kind of tap it over it. Yes, some people are saying no primer, that they like it without primer. So I say give, give it a try both ways and see what you think. Another thing that is launching on the first, which I totally forgot to mention, is the hydrating primer. So if you have dry skin, the hydrating primer is launching on the first as well. Super excited, but remember, Check the kudos. <laughs> Blending buds are awesome. I've never seen anything like them. I know, I totally agree. These are made from a different material than most blending buds are, than all blending buds are actually. I've never came across ones of this material. It's almost like a wetsuit material. Um, but it applies your foundation so smooth, it doesn't eat it up, so it actually extends how long you have your foundation for. Hi, Alicia. Next shade darker than lace would be the shade Eyelet in the same family. Taffeta would be technically one shade up, but it's more yellow undertone and lace is more neutral. But you guys can always message me a selfie facing window and I can give you a full recommendation. 
All right, so now I'm highlighting. I'm using my Touch a La Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrous. And this is just gonna really kind of mesh with my contour and just bring up my cheekbones. Really, really complimentary. Isn't that pretty? All right, so our face is done. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And I use the same brow product almost all the time. I've been using the brow palette lately just to show you guys how to use it. But my preferred way of putting on my brows is this guy right here. Yeah, they don't absorb like anything. Can oily skin use a new primer? I personally would not recommend the hydrating primer for oily skin, no. It's super hydrating, so it would actually make you more oily if you are. But if you have dry skin or mature skin, your skin is going to like soak this up. It's going to be really, really good. Okay, or if you like put lotion on or like a day cream on your skin, if you do that and it looks good on you under your makeup, then definitely grab the hydrating primer. And I believe the hydrating primer is going to be 39 as well, but that launches on the first as well. Okay, so now for brow product. So I'm going to use the brow pencil in the shade medium, and this is my favorite way to do my eyebrows. And we're going to do like a really pretty everyday look using this month's kudos too. So hang tight. If you want to see like a good pretty everyday that if you wear glasses or you have hooded eyes or smaller eyes or squinty eyes, it's going to make your eyes appear much larger. So stay tuned for that in one sec. But I just love this brow pencil because it's so fast and it's so easy. I know drawing on your eyebrows can be kind of intimidating at first. And kind of scary like you're not sure how dark to go or light to go or where to go with it this does all the work for you and it also makes your eyes look much larger here I'll show you the difference okay so doing an eyebrow versus no eyebrow see how much more room it looks like I have on this side for eyeshadow versus this side is that amazing? I'm making the same facial expression. It looks so much bigger over here. So you don't have to do it this dark. In fact, you can always take your spoolie side and just kind of brush through it and it'll lighten it up. So that's always an option if you don't like it more bold, but I do. But see how this side looks? You can see all that sparse area in front. Kind of just like frames the face really nicely. Um, taffeta is going to be more yellow undertoned, but eyelet is more neutral undertoned. But again, you can always message me and I can tell you. Um, will you use the same shade in the new spray primer as you use in the regular foundation? So yes, I use the same shade, which is lace. And as you see, now that I've used my pressed powder, it's a perfect match. So I think lace is actually my color. So that's why I always say don't judge it until you're done with your makeup because what uh, pressed powder you're using, what color, really makes a difference. And if you're not using a pressed powder, then I would probably go up in a shade. We we'll use the same shade. Oh, you're the one. Yes, you're welcome. But if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure that you shoot me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation on what products to grab. So you have your list, shopping list, and you can grab any of them this month. So you have them already by the time you get your spray foundation. But for eyebrows, what I basically do is I just follow the natural shape and direction of my eyebrow. And then I just pretty much like box it in, just like framing it. And then you'll just color in just like that. Ta-da, so easy. I'm gonna give you guys full details on my rings and my outfit and then link even more stuff for you guys after I get off here on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. My name is Rhea Hope on there. Yes, perfect. Make sure you send me a selfie in Natural lighting is the best, so just facing a window. All right, so now for eyes, we're gonna do a super easy everyday eye look that really complements your eyes and brings the attention to your eyes. So if you wear glasses or if you have hooded or smaller eyes, this is gonna be perfect. Yay, perfect, Danielle, I'll message you back as soon as I get off. All right, so I'm taking the fluffy crease brush and my beachfront bronzer, and we're just dusting this in the crease. So I always say this during my eyeshadow routines to help you guys figure out application. I do two techniques. I go rainbow and then zigzag. And this is gonna help it blend out really nicely so you don't have to go back and blend later. So it's doing all that work for you now. So I always do my crease color before I do my lid color. I find that doing it that way really helps 
the color look more pigmented than doing it the other way around. I'm person always ready to help. Aw, thank you. You're so sweet. Okay, so once we have that color in the crease, and I love that you can use these products multiple ways. So again, this is Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa. And then now we're gonna go in with a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent. I think this one has to be one of my favorites because it's just a really good every single day color. It's not too bright, it's not too crazy. And what I love also about these liquid eyeshadows is they're completely smudge proof. So you can put them on and you don't have to worry about them seeping into your creases, seeping in your fine lines, or coming off altogether. And I'm just using my finger to blend that out. How pretty and fast and easy is that? Isn't that gorgeous? And look how it draws the attention to the eyes. Isn't that great? It's the same thing over here. Just painting it. Going inward, upward, outward, just like that. I love using the Beach from Bronzer's eyeshadow. Me too, it's definitely a fave. Just cause it's fast and easy and it looks really pretty. Looks like you tried. <laughs> so the liquid eyeshadows are in this month's kudos. I have not heard if they are gonna be added to the core line, meaning that they're gonna be around after this month. So if you haven't yet grabbed the liquid eyeshadows, definitely do so ASAP. So again, they're in the kudos and you can get two, plus you also get the lash primer and the mascara. So I would definitely make sure you grab this month's kudos because you get pretty much everything. So after next month, you'll have a full face of makeup. So grab this month's kudos, grab next month's. You thank me later. I'm all about saving you guys money. All right, so now I'm just blending that in and it almost looks as if it's a cut crease because of how like it fades like that. Isn't that pretty? I love it, love it, love it, love it. And then underneath my eye, I'll just kind of like dust that. My kudos arrived, yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so now that we're done, I'm gonna spray. which this is gonna set all of our makeup. It's gonna take away the makeup-y look, the powdery look, and it's also gonna hold everything in a place. The reason I do this step before I do my lipstick and my mascara is it actually helps the mascara and the lipstick have a better hold on your skin. It also prevents your mascara from being like more wet after you're done putting it on. So it actually stays in place longer and better without transferring. I know, me too. The first of the months are definitely a favorite. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, so now we're gonna use the lash primer before we do our mascara, and this is just going to enhance your lashes by so much. It makes them so much longer, so much fuller, and it also is very hydrating for your lashes, so it actually slows down the lash cycle, so your lashes are falling out slower, so it actually makes your lashes look even more full. So this comes in the kudos as well for this month. Okay, just like that. And then now we're gonna use our 4D mascara. This also comes in this month's kudos. Such a good deal. And you're just gonna go from the base of the lash all the way up. And I love this 4D mascara because it does have fibers infused in it, but there's no fallout of them, which is really rad. And it's also water resistant, so it's not gonna run and it gives you the most incredible length and volume. I always get so impressed when I use this. I'm like, wow. <laughs> my eyebrows are touching, or my lashes are touching my eyebrows. Just like so. Base of the lash. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that amazing? What is the kudos? So this month, it's based, so what a kudos is with Unique, um, that's the brand I'm using. Everything's available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. It's just basically like our monthly deal. Every month it's something different. It's a different savings, it's a different bundle, but it's also, it's always like the best way to go about buying some product. 
And this month is the lash primer, the mascara, and two liquid eyeshadows. You also get this purse that looks exactly like a Chanel bag. Um, so that's this month, but next month is gonna be even better. I can't say exactly what it is, but definitely check it out on the first. I would grab that and then I would add on to it. But if you guys have any questions or need any recommendations on product or colors, or what you should use for your skin type, message me. Shoot me a message here on Facebook or on Instagram, on my email, however you wanna do it. And I'll respond to you. Hi, Robin. Yes, message me on Facebook. Use brightening face mask on site with a tool on. It came off in one piece. Oh, isn't that the best feeling ever? I love that brightening face mask so much. All right, so now let's do our lips. So I'm gonna do one of my favorite lip looks. Just like a really great every single day. So we're gonna use the Prudent Lip Liner, which is my favorite. I love these because they're only $15 and they're super creamy, so they glide right on and they're smudge proof, so they have a really great hold. No, I don't know yet. What do you guys think? Should I cut my hair? Yes. <laughs> Ryan's always loved my hair super short. Sure. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Thank you, Jenna. I use the Esteem Lash Serum every single night before bed. It's only 24 bucks, and it can make your lashes and your eyebrows grow. You just put it on every single night before bed. <laughs> I know, I'm so undecided. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of fill in a little bit. Because when you fill in your lips with this lip liner, it really helps, to, like, it really helps to hold your lipstick into place throughout the day. Because this is smudge proof. So when you pair a lipstick over it, it's like holding on to that color way better. Okay. So now that you have your lip liner on, now we're gonna go in with one of my favorite colors. This is the shade um, Affluent. And like I said, this is a really good color for every single day. If you're not like a big lipstick gal, but you still wanna kind of wear a color on your lips, Affluent would be the best option. I'm gonna use my finger. Just soften it. Not pretty. Just like a good neutral every day. So good. Now where do I send my selfie? So you can click on my picture right now or my face and a little window should pop down. You'll tap on my name. It'll You'll see an option to be able to send me a message. So you can either do it that way or you can go to rayahopebeauty.com. Scroll to the very bottom of my website and you'll see an option to send me a message there as well. Like when you curl your hair. I know, me too. Yeah, but pixies are fun. See, it's so hard. <laughs> I know, it's so hard. Can't decide. Um, that was the shade Affluent. But I'm gonna post the full product list in the comments after I get off. Um, so if you haven't commented yet, make sure you comment something, a hi, hello, a heart, emoji, whatever. That way you'll be alerted by Facebook. It'll be like, Rhea commented on her live video. So that way you'll know that that is the full product list. I'm also gonna upload this makeup look to the looks tab, which is a really cool feature. So if you go to rayahopebeauty.com, you can click the looks tab underneath the product menu. It's like the three little lines. So click looks and then you'll type in Rhea Hope. All of my makeup looks, like all of them. You know, full glam, smoky eye, everyday, mom looks, like less is more type looks, this look, all of them will be there with the full product list as well as the tutorial link to it, which is a really cool feature. So if you haven't explored that yet, definitely do so. It makes shopping so easy. But you can always message me if you need to be color matched, if you need recommendation, if you need a good skincare routine, you name it, message me. But definitely October 1st, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, set your alarm because these two things are launching. The uh, spray foundation and the hydrating primer. Check the kudos October 1st. Helping a sister out. 
and message me before that so you know what colors to grab. And then if you haven't yet bought like the Kabuki brush or any other products, I would do them now. That way they're already on the way to you. So at least then you'll get everything around the same time because the spray foundation, I'm just gonna warn you guys, is gonna hold up orders. This is gonna like break the internet. <laughs> So definitely put in your orders this month for whatever products you need besides the spray foundation, obviously. That way you'll get everything all at once. Aw, thank you. Yes, I'm going to give you guys full jewelry details, outfit, everything over on my Instagram. Um, so make sure you follow me there. My name is Rhea Hope over there. And then I'm actually going to hop right back here, same space, um, to do my hair. And then we'll do that. Yes, the hydrating primer is going to be hydrating. The Glorious Face Primer is more for oily to normal skin. Yes, the spray foundation will come in all shades. So you'll be the same shade you are in the liquid. So whatever you wear in the liquid, you'll be in the spray. I was, I was kind of thinking that I was running a little bit light, but now that I'm fully done with my makeup, it looks perfect. Nikki, you need to get an Instagram. It's worth it. Even just to follow me. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you here in one second after I clean up my makeup and plug in my flat iron. I will see you right back here. Bye.